This week's tutorial is all about eyeliners. A couple of you have asked me for some different styles if you're bored of doing your regular cat winged liner. So today I'm gonna to show you a couple of different options. So the first eyeliner I'm gonna do is a half winged eyeliner. It's the eyeliner that I wear pretty much every day. And it's really great for just elongating your eyes and not closing them up too much. Cause sometimes when you can do a big wing starting from the inner corner, you can really end up closing your eyes. So I like to start it just from half or three quarters of way across my lid and take it out to the side. And that keeps your eyes looking really open, but also giving you that really nice feline shape. So I'm gonna start from the outer corner of my eye and I'm basically gonna draw the same curve or angle as my lower eyelids. Follow pretty much the line of my lower eyelid up like that. And then I'm gonna take the pen back on itself and bring it back down to the three quarter length. And I'm gonna just color it in. I like to imagine that the end of that point will kind of connect to the end point of my eyebrow and that's kind of the shape that you want to aim for. So the great thing about following your natural eye line and contours is that you will end up doing exactly the same angle on each side, but just make sure you do keep looking and assessing both sides of your face to make sure that you are doing the same on both sides. For the next eyeliner look, I'm gonna be building on this and I'm gonna do a winged sharp eyeliner. I'm gonna take some remover and I'm just gonna angle that remover upwards a little bit more of an angle than maybe my natural eye line would be. And then I'm gonna go back along this new angle with my eyeliner pen. And then I'm gonna swing this down all the way towards the center of my eye. And I'm just gonna keep building it up in line so that I don't overdraw too quickly. So I'm gonna keep doing it line by line. And then I'm gonna do an angle straight across. And then I'm gonna now join that down towards that center point that I just marked out. And really the point that you want to end that kind of parallel straight line is where when, you, when you're looking forward a little bit is where your eyelid starts to crease. So you know that that's the point that you then need to begin dragging that liner down. So for me, it's about there. Bring my eye up and just drag it straight down. So when you've drawn out those two shapes, I'm gonna now go in with a little bit of concealer and I'm just gonna go very carefully up to the edge of that line just to make it really sharp on both sides. And then I'm gonna blend that out and then powder it and that will then set that look for you so that you won't get any transfer if you're moving your head around. A little fluffy brush and just blend that concealer out. Like so the next eyeliner look I'm gonna do is a very classic 60s inspired twiggy look, drawing on little lashes on the bottom of my eye line and then drawing into the crease with a liner to create that perfect 60s feel. So to start this look off, I'm just gonna cheat a little bit by using a nude liner into my waterline. And what this will do is just help some separation between my lashes and the pen and my eye, and also help to open up my eye a little bit. And then I'm gonna begin working into my crease. So the best thing to do is to kind of do a few head movements up and down, and when you start to see a little bit of shadow, that's the kind of marker that you want to um, look for. So I can see when I do that, the shadow's just above my actual eyelid crease there. It's about here, so I'm just gonna do a little line there mark a little bit there and then there and you can see that i'm just kind of marking out where this liner is going to go and then you can kind of connect all those dots and have a really perfect crease line now i'm going to thicken that out a little bit So as I've drawn that, I've basically 
worked with the pen to help angle those lines. So I started from the center just to mark out a kind of equal center point, and then I just dragged the pen up at an angle to create those lines that all have the same thickness because they're just the width of the nib, and then you can go in and just do any little tidying up that you need afterwards. So that's how to create that well-referenced 60s twiggy look with the little fake lashes and the cut crease using only a black liner. So this next liner is a little bit of an extension of the very first one I showed you, but I'm just gonna add a nice little bit of black into the inner corners to really accentuate that feline-ness. It's a really great eyeliner if you wanna do a going out look, and obviously if you're doing a Halloween look, you can extend it all the way down the nose and all the way up the side of the face for something a bit more bird-like or even cat-like. I'm gonna start with the inner corner of my eye and I'm basically just gonna follow, again, that natural curve of my eye down and just draw a little line and drag it back into the waterline. So you have those two little points on the inner corner, which kind of help create that really nice angle and shape. And now I'm going to take a really nice big sweep up with the liner kind of imagining that I'm just following the curve from that inner corner out. Keep it kind of moving and upwards like that so it looks like it kind of matches the angle of the inner corner of my eye. And again, I'm going to keep it quite shallow to get that really nice kind of wave from the inner corner to the outer corner. This next look is a double winged liner using a black eyeliner on the bottom and the top to create two really nice simple lines and then I just filled in a little bit of the space on the inner and outer corners with white just to add an extra little bit of length to the eye. So this line I'm drawing is a little bit lower than the inner corner of your eye just so that you can keep a little bit of lightness and felineness in the inner corner and then I'm just going to literally drag it up to my eye line and then up and out like this. And then I'm gonna do exactly the same, starting from the inner corner on the top, just going along that lash line like this. And then before I hit the very edge of my eye, I'm just gonna drag it out and up again like that. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of white liner on the inner corner, just above that first line there and the outer corner just to kind of add a little bit of length to that eye and separate those two lines like that. And that will also create the illusion of a very slightly longer eye line. So thanks for watching. That was five different ways of using a black eyeliner to create different wing shapes. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next week.